So, I guess I have agents now. I went into 2020 with finding an agent as my top priority to reach my larger goal of getting my work out there and it's happened. I am now represented by Skylar Gray and Leah Hamos at the Gersh Agency based in New York City. And it is a bit of a mind shift because, like I said, I was going into this year ready to kind of do some more trips to New York to meet with more agents and kind of framing my career plan around that. And it's happened. And now, instead, I actually have this team of folks that I get to work with on getting my stuff out there. So I want to kind of backtrack and maybe lay out for those of you who might be considering or are looking or want to learn more about finding an agent, what it took to get to this step. The question of agents for me has been seriously on my mind since 2014. I would say it was percolating in my head before that, but I knew I didn't have a lot under my belt to show for it. And in 2014, when I participated in the Theatre Bay Area Atlas for Playwrights program and I received the Titan Award for my career map, finding an agent was one of those long-term future goals that I set for myself on that career map. But having talked to folks here and there, I knew that, and I keep using this phrase I realize in, in recent videos, but I knew that it was a bit of a chicken and egg scenario where in order for me to get an agent, I should have accomplished a, a good amount to get the attention of an agent. And yet there were many opportunities out there that I could not participate in or submit to because you need an agent to participate in the first place. And the way some folks said it was, when it needs to happen, it's going to happen. So I tried not to fret about it too much. So from about 2014 to 2018, I just kind of let it be what it was. Because you don't just go and knock on agents' doors. In fact, on agency websites, more often than not, they're going to say they don't take unsolicited materials. And if you were to send them anything, they will not read it. So really, the focus needed to be on, I need to do work so that I will get the attention of potential agents. Now, in 2016, I was fortunate enough to become a part of the Resident Playwrights Initiative at Playwrights Foundation, based here in SF. And this was a cohort of playwrights who met together and talked about their careers and what their goals were. And the program itself was kind of in flux and transformation while I was in it. But one of the things that I benefited from out of this program was that Amy Mueller, the artistic director at the time, would challenge me, challenge all of us really, to set what she called it, I think she got it from somewhere else, but we called it our big, hairy, audacious goal. We would set goals that felt scary enough that they weren't just in our comfort zone, but were also reasonably achievable. So in 2018, when it was time to do goal setting and planning, Amy really challenged me to set that goal of finding an agent, and that meant setting up meetings with people in New York City and trying to make it happen. So in the spring of 2018, I set up a few meetings with agents. Now, how did I even get those meetups in the first place? Well, one, the Playwrights Foundation was able to do an introduction on my behalf and I compiled a list of possible agents that I wanted to meet up with and they did introductions and I want to say two out of the eight to 10 agents that we contacted agreed to do a meeting. And I was pretty scared because I didn't know what to expect, but I was pleasantly surprised that agents are just people. And I met up with these two, one of whom said they would get back to me and another one of whom said that they couldn't take me on, but that they would do some referrals to other agents. In fact, I think they gave me three names to reach out to. So I reached out to three other people 
Uh, one didn't respond, one said she couldn't take anybody on, and the third agreed to a meeting. So that same trip, I was able to have a third meeting with an agent who basically by the end up said, right now, I don't think you have enough under your belt for me to want to take you on. Fair, honest, straightforward. So after that trip, there was the one agent who said they would get back to me and it turns out they stopped being an agent. So that was kind of a bummer because I had hopes for this person. I enjoyed them and I thought, you know, it was highly possible. Then I did do another trip to New York in the fall of 2018 and I followed up with some of the agents that we had tried reaching out to, but none of them seemed available or, or replied. So I didn't actually have meetings with those agents. So then fast forward to 2019, last year, and I actually wasn't able to make a trip to NYC in the spring. But in the fall, I once again followed up with the group of agents we had reached out to, and the one who I was referred to in the spring of 2018, who said she couldn't take anybody on at the time, she got back to me and we actually had a meeting. And that person happened to be Leah Hamos. And I met with Leah and Skylar because I think at Gersh, sometimes they'll do partnerships where playwrights or artists will be represented by two agents. And we chatted talked about where I felt I was at in my career. And after that meeting, I sent them scripts. And that was that. That was back in October 2019. And now the ball was in their court. They had my scripts. And I didn't feel like it was necessary for me to follow up. Um, I think maybe if a year had passed and I hadn't heard anything from them, then I would have followed up. But um, given that we're all busy people and I sent them four scripts, uh, I just kind of let it be, but I entered into 2020 under the assumption that I needed to still put in more work to find an agent. And now this has happened. Hello, it's Min from the future. Uh, while I was editing this video, I realized I didn't quite finish the story. So this month I received an email from Skylar and Leah saying they read my scripts and they wanted to have a phone conversation. So I hopped on the phone with them and it was a time for me to ask questions, give a little update on what's been happening since I met with them last. And that was when they said they would be excited to have me on at Gersh. Um, and then I took some time to think about it and then I agreed and we did all the paperwork. And so as of last week, everything is in order and I am represented by them at Gersh. Back to the original video now. And I'm pretty excited. And like I said, it's great because now it feels like I have a team to help me kind of strategize and map out where I wanna go next in my career, and they'll help me with negotiating agreements and contracts and things like that. But I just thought I would share a bit of the story because it has been a long journey of, you know, seriously considering agents to actually taking steps to meet with agents to then finally uh, successfully getting represented by them. I think in my next vlog, I might share more about when it might be right to think about getting an agent or, or why you might need one and when and the timing and all that. One that's more advice oriented, whereas this video was a little bit more biographical story oriented to just share what the process has been like. So yeah, I have agents and um, I'll share more next week. And this is about as much time as I have for this week's vlog, but I promise I will share a bit more from an insight advice perspective in next week's video. I'll see you then.